What is good, YouTube Quinn Wade? Basketball analysis coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about Lonzo Ball, a guy that a lot of people say didn't live up to the hype, won't retire as one of the greatest Lakers ever, and that's true because he no longer played for the Lakers. A guy that people felt like could be a generational passer and player, can change the culture and the identity of a team that he plays for. And even though most of that could be true, is true, and didn't happen, Lonzo Ball's career is still going. And right now, as of this video has been recorded, he's having a spectacular second half of the season. And I was a, never a person that went sour on Lonzo. I have been frustrated with Lonzo. Who hasn't? Because he just been so inconsistent from year to year. Just like last year, he had a good start. And then in the bubble, he just vanished and played Ted Eblay. And Lonzo can be a frustrating player because you want to root for him. He plays the right way. He's unselfish. And he really does have a high IQ and understands the game. He just can't put it together consistently. And that's the difference between a role player and a star, and a star and a superstar and an all-star. And Lonzo was supposed to be this generational player. And you've seen it in college that he gets there and the team runs different. They play different. They're more happy. They're more excited. And the ball is moving and they get easy opportunities and it just makes their confidence go through the roof. But... In the NBA, they just hasn't been the case. Even with the Lakers, I never could get behind them. I never could really see what Lonzo Ball was really doing for the team like I seen them in high school and, and in college. And that has been the biggest disappointment of his career, not because he didn't make an all-star team or he hasn't been dominant. It's just his impact is just not felt as much as he did when he was younger. And maybe it's his confidence level. Maybe his shooting became such a detriment early in his career that it kind of made him easier to, to defend and he just didn't have those opportunities. Or maybe it's just a respect level. Players, you know, looked at him different compared to other guys that was playing against him at lower levels. And whatever the reason is, Lonzo just hasn't been the Lonzo that we all thought that he would be. Everybody was rooting for Lonzo. Everybody was excited for Lonzo. Everybody really wanted to see what he can do, whether it was people that wanted to see him fail or whether, if, you know, the hype of his father and every legend feeling that he can be a, a generational player. And it, it hasn't happened. And even now with him playing so well with the Pelicans currently, he still don't have that all-star level that we thought that he definitely could get to. And, it's unfortunate, but he still is young, and he still does show signs that he can be a starter in this league. He just doesn't have the impact that we thought he would have. Even with this Pelicans team, I thought he would be hungry because he didn't get the contract extension, and he didn't play well in the bubble. And I thought that he would come out trying to prove a point that he deserves the money, and he should have been taken care of, and he really does have a good chance with a new coach. And... He got off to a bad start again, and as you know, he's on a trade line, deadline, and I mean trade line. And everybody trying to get rid of him, and now you know for the Clippers to be interested in him, I don't blame them for being interested because Lonzo can be a solid complimentary piece, especially when you got two playmakers and guys that can play on and off the ball like Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, and that's what made them a unique duo, especially because Batum is another guy that can handle the ball, create, but also shoot the ball off ball, and that's something that will really make this team shine if a guy like Lonzo can give his outside shooting but also his penetration and kickout ability um, to a team like this and get them easy opportunities and take some of the ball handling duties away from Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. So it makes sense. Um, when you look at the logic of how he plays and what they're trying to accomplish, what they're trying to do right now with the Clippers. But, you know, it doesn't make sense for the Pelicans. Um, I know that they don't really see Lonzo being a huge part of their future because you do have to grade them on this complete season. You just can't grade them on now. You have to look at the entire season, and we still haven't got to the end of it. But 
you know, Lonzo can go to a mediocre ending. He can go to an excellent ending. And regardless of what it is, we have to judge him based off his whole performance this year. And with that being said, he has been decent, you know, you know, combining both halves. And so far, I, I think I just still want more. Even though he's playing amazing right now, I still want more for Lonzo. And I still feel like he hasn't fulfilled what we thought he can really be um, in the NBA. And, his game has translated with the assists and the rebounds and now the three-point shooting like he had in college, but the, the the dominance just isn't there. The fun just isn't there. Maybe they need to be a little bit more faster. Maybe they need to get it up a little bit more with Ingram and Zion um, on, on the court with Steven Adams. Maybe they just playing a little bit too slow for Lonzo to have his full effect, but whatever it is at the end of the day, um, I think the, the decision will probably be get rid of Eric Bledsoe and just let Lonzo be your primary ball handler and decision maker outside of Ingram and Zion. And that's something that I thought that they would do. Um, I never really think they had to get rid of Lonzo. I think they just needed to get rid of Bledsoe just because Bledsoe is a starter in this league, but he's not a part of this, this long-term plan with the Pelicans, let's just be honest, because this is Ayanna Ingram's team. This is their this they're the best players on this team. They're the future of this team. These are the guys that they're building around. And Lonzo does fit well, play style, especially if he's in his three point shot. And he fits well with this team. And I think it is time to give him the keys and just let him, you know, grow as the, the, probably the future point guard of this team, the franchise point guard. And that's what he was drafted to be. That's what he was held to be in the league. And he just hasn't been that. He has the size of a two, but Lonzo is at his best when he has the ball in his hands. Lonzo is at his best when he's a decision maker and an orchestrator and a maestro out there. And he just hasn't had it as much as he would like, whether that's even in L.A., or rather that's in right now with the Pelicans. You do want your point guard to be able to function without the ball. Well, you know, Zion can handle the ball and make plays, and so can Ingram. So I don't really think that that's going to be a big problem because Lonzo has shown that he can be a decent off the dribble and, and spot a three-point shooter. So I definitely don't see Lonzo going to the Clippers. They don't have enough assets. They don't have any players that would interest them because if they do, they'll just be getting rid of Lonzo just to do that. And if that will be the case, you can get better value from Lonzo by trading them somewhere else besides the Clippers. Um, so I don't think that the Clippers will get them. I don't think the trade will even come close to happening. But I don't blame the Clippers for being interested stylistically and fit-wise. But I do think that they need to do just like LaMelo. Let Lonzo be Lonzo. Let him do what he's best at and let him play his game. And he's doing that more now. But it might mean getting rid of Bledsoe and just let Lonzo be the point guard that he has always been throughout his career and let him have fun out there. And when Lonzo is, you know, playing loose, free, exciting, hyper-extended basketball, he he's fun. He's amazing. And it helps his game. It helps everybody game because he's that good at keeping everybody involved and everybody getting easy opportunities means that they offense can be better. They look sluggish. They look slow. And sometimes it looks like they just take tough, too many tough shots when they can get easier ones or they can just be a little smarter. And that's something that Lonzo can do more if he was the point guard of this team and can really, really be who he really is. And one thing I always love about players is when they playing them and being them and doing what got them into the league. And Lonzo just hasn't been able to do it enough in his NBA career. Maybe that's why he hasn't had the impact Maybe that's why his career hasn't been what it is because everybody wants Lonzo to be this and they want him to do that when they just need Lonzo to be who he is and, you know, see where that takes you. But this team has a lot of young talent. They have a bright future. But one thing I'll say at the end of the day, we still want to know what this team is going to be. They didn't make the playoffs last year. They look like they're not going to make it this year. And if your duo can't get you to the playoffs now, especially two years in a row, you do have to figure out what's the piece that you need to get on this team to get you where you need to go. They don't have to rush it. 
They don't have to be dramatic, but they do have to figure out who they want to keep, who is right for this team, and who they need to get rid of to get right with this team talent-wise because the talent they have right now ain't fitting, it ain't working enough, and it's not good enough. You know, they have a lot of names, but they don't really fit and play well as a as a collective. And that's something that you don't want to see when you're building a team. And a lot of these guys are coming up with rookie extensions, and you're not going to be able to pay them all. You're not going to be able to extend them all. But that's why you have to figure out which ones you want to keep. So if you're a Pelicans fan, be a little patient. You have a guy that was an all-star last year, Ingram, and a 20-point scorer. And you have a guy that's a 20-point scorer the last two seasons, also an all-star in Zion. So y'all have, y'all stars already in place. It's just about finding the right complementary players that can be around them and grow with them to eventually be a future championship team two to three years from now. We'll see what happens. We'll see what they do. But other than that, Corey Wade, basketball losses, I'm going again.